Hey, what's going on? Build this Kurosama here. And we're going to be talking about the new banners that have just recently dropped. Um, I'm, I'm actually a little bit excited for these. I know normally I, I kind of really ain't for most of these banners. They haven't been super exciting since like the Zeta, even the new Gundam. Uh, but these two I'm actually particularly excited about. Uh, and also they have the new event that just dropped with the Sword Strike. Um, not as excited, but I think it does have some good parts. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a couple of these things uh, coming up in this video. Now one key thing to note, this is like the super super key thing to note, and you've seen my pull video. It says right here, the drop rates of featured prizes are set higher than usual in pickup capsules. Yes it's true, but it kind of isn't, like it's kind of weird. So the rates are higher than a normal part, but it's not high enough to where you're getting almost a guaranteed in a pull. And you see in my video, the first two pulls I had were blue parts. That was like the key thing was blue. And then the final two, you know, I, I, I got some good parts, but none of them, like those two, the la like the, the next two after, were not the featured parts. It took me uh, to get some more Haro chips and to pull on a fifth banner in order to get the Shining Gundam's head. So, kind of sucks. I had to pull, you know, 50 different pulls in order to get it, but... The parts or the uh, mobile suits in question is going to be the Sengoku Astray and we're going to be getting the Shining Gundam. I don't really like that they do uh, two melee suits at the same time. I really wish they would have like, you know, maybe a support type suit and then a melee or a melee and long shooter, long shooter and support, something along those lines. But when you have two melee suits, I don't know, it just, it doesn't make me want to pull a lot more because uh for one i really don't care about the sengoku astray i do like the head unit i think the head unit is very good for infighters but for the most part i'm not really too into that mobile suit now the shining gundam i do want the uh the arms and the body so i've been I'm, I'm still trying to pull for those but yeah i mean they're both four star gundams and i think they're gonna be really good for a lot of melee suits but unfortunately you're not getting a fist module and that really sucks because the the one star fist module that we have is completely trash so i really wish they would give us at least a default three star um if not maybe go to the de default four star that would be amazing now these two suits will be going to the normal standard capsule so if you don't if you're not able to pull on them now maybe when you do your free pulls you might get a chance to go ahead and pull them and trust me there's plenty of times that i've actually gotten a default four star from a free pull so i'm pretty confident that maybe i could pull one of these parts a little bit later in the future now we are going to have two ai pilots you're going to have george and you're going to have patrick patrick i i don't care about he's like the cockroach of the goddamn series um I don't know. I'm not really feeling him. Um, I think George is the pilot for the uh, Rose Gundam. I don't really follow fighter, like G Fighter, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, G Fighter. I'm not into it. Um, sorry. So I don't really know much about George. Patrick, I really don't like, don't care about him. He's kind of like the meme of the entire Gundam series. So it's actually pretty funny. Um, but yeah, George, uh, I mean, we'll take a look at what his abilities are, but I'm not feeling it at all. Now, of course, uh, for the event, you are going to have different multipliers. So if you have one Sengoku is straight part, it's going to be a seven times multiplier. And if you have a Shining Gundam, it's a five times multiplier. So, uh, I mean, you know, I'm actually pretty satisfied with just doing the Shining Gundam five times multiplier. Um, I'm still going to get a lot of parts. And normally, um, you know, with these events, I'm usually done with these events by Sunday or by Monday. So I'll probably just maybe last until Tuesday just to get some extra parts. But there's a little something extra with this event that we're going to cover. Now let's take a look at the new event. So this is the Bulwark Sword. Um, I'm, you know, it's like I'm not feeling the sword, uh, the, the sword strike. I just, I don't know. I'm not really into the strike. I, I hate, I hate to say that because I do like the strike in certain ways uh, with certain different packs. The sword strike is okay, um, but you know, it's just, I don't know. I, it's, this isn't. This isn't getting me super riled up. I, I want a mobile suit that is a little bit more three-star worthy. I would even say something like the uh, the H3 Spalo. You know, maybe throw that in. I would love to have the H3, not the H3 Spalo, wow. The H1 Spalo, um, having that one, or even maybe like the H2 Double Bullet. That could be a, a, a three-star easily. And that would get me a little bit more riled up. But obviously, I'm one of those few guys that's like a huge age fan. So, can't really pander to me, can you? 
Now, there are going to be some unique missions that are going to be coming out soon, and it's going to be the EX and Special. So, you're going to have these that are going to be coming out. You're going to have the Special 1 and the Special 2, um, but you're going to have uh, basically EX is going to be no continues, get an, uh, an event exclusive title. Don't really care about the titles. Like, when I click on a person to be my, uh, my, my relief gunpla, I'm not looking at his title. Sometimes I look at Demon because I'm like, okay, if you're a Demon, you probably have a really good uh, online mobile suit, so I'm probably going to go directly to you. But just because you beat the EX mode on an event, I'm sorry, I'm not really looking at you like, oh, this is definitely got to be my Relief Gundam. So the titles, I'm not really too concerned about, but hey, if you really do like it, then cool. Uh, you got Special 1, so this one's going to be only Technique Attribute Gunplas such as Sword, Strike Gundam, can Sorty, including Ally gum, uh, Gunplas. So uh, Get Awakening Circus, which is going to be really good. Um, then you got the Special 2, so it's going to be the same exact thing. You get another Awakening Circus, it's just going to be a little bit harder. Um, clearing the EX Special Missions will only contribute to the completion of uh, achievements specifically for the EX and Special Missions. So, yeah, this is just saying, like, oh, it's so on the 21st, that's when these are going to start dropping, which is going to be really cool. There's another thing, though. This is super interesting. So we're going to take a look at the new thing, which is going to be Scenario Battles. This is very new to these missions. Um, basically, what you can do is every single day you're going to have a different Scenario Mission. I don't know if the old one goes away or not. I don't really see it kind of saying it's, it, you know, it says rotation, so maybe it does just completely go away. But every single day, you uh, just basically complete this mission. You get Haro Chips that are for, you know, the achievements. Uh, but you're also going to be able to get 60 Sword Coins every single day. You're going to get a total of 360 coins. That's that's pretty good. Uh, for the fact that this is catering a little bit more to the free-to-play players or the people that just don't want to pull on banners. So instead of like you know having them five times multiplier, seven times multiplier, and you only got the two, at least you get that extra boost in coins. So that way you can guarantee yourself by getting some awakening chips and even getting getting some of the uh, the normal parts uh, for the sword. So you're gonna have to struggle a little bit on the first day to try and get at least one of each of the sword parts. You might have to upgrade them because naturally using them to level probably isn't going to work. Uh, but for the most part, this is really good for those free-to-play players. Now, one key note is that you cannot use Relief Gunpla in these scenario battles. And then they'll only grant the Soul Coins through the completion of their achievements, not the missions themselves. For this, re uh, for this reason, equipping your Gunpla with coin multiplier parts will not affect the amount of coins received. So, yeah, you're just going to get that set amount of 60 coins. Now, we're just looking at the achievements. Honestly, we're not going to have... Anything really that's like noteworthy, uh, I'll show you exactly what's probably gonna be the best thing. Obviously, Awakening Circuit, get one of those, so that's not too bad. I think you get one more yet. Oh, you actually get two more. So I'm actually always excited when I get some blue uh, Awakening chips because I have a lot of parts that are still in the three star, and I would like to get them to the four star so I can continue leveling, uh, leveling them up. But you get one Awakening Circuit, AI Awakening Circuit that is purple. And then you only get one normal purple awakening circuit, so that really sucks. Uh, but you got this, you know, clear scenario battle. It's gonna be sixty coins, and then you got the EX, which is gonna be uh, thirty thousand uh, capital. So I'm all about the capital. I'm not really too, um, you know, I'm not irritated about that. But only having one awakening circuit kind of sucks. So I guess they're trying to pace us uh, with our tuning on our parts. They don't want us to like, you know, rapidly get all these parts completely tuned up. So I can kind of understand that. Now we're taking a look at the banner. I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna run through these parts real quick. Not even gonna look at the stats. I'm kind of more concerned about the traits as well as the um the the, the traits and the ex skill. So you're gonna have this one in um uh, this Sengoku Astray Head, which is in fighter job ex skill piercing boosted 20%. Now, grant this is a level 10 part, but that is still extremely good, man. That is super damn good. Uh, most head units are just kind of like bad because they all have Vulcans, but that was actually something that's super damn good. You got in fighter job, EX skill, cooldown, reduce 20%. Another amazing part. Now, obviously, you got to be an in fighter. So if you have low or lao, uh, that's going to be probably the most ideal character to use. But man, that is actually a really, really good trait. Next, we're going to have an EX skill for the arms. Now, this is going to be Hidden Arm and Samurai Sword, Physical Melee, Piercing D, Power A-, minus, Cooldown, 21 seconds, 6 seconds. Uh, basically, you just, you know, hit your foes with some blades. Lower enemy, Gunpla's Melee Defense by 19%. Um, it's kind of good. Like, it, it actually has good stats. Um, and, and, you know, A- minus is not too bad whatsoever. Really, really fast cooldown, so you can immediately pull this off. But I'm just, I'm personally not really feeling it. The uh, the the debuff is really good to just tack on to it. But 
honestly, these are okay at best. Next, we're going to have the leg. So with module category equipped, modules are pretty much like the claw and the fist, which is really weird. I don't know why it wouldn't say blade. Um, you know, if it said blade or saber, that would make a lot more sense. But it says module. So I don't really get that. Like, I know in the TV show, it, it used its fist because he was also like a martial artist. It makes sense. But he has two swords. So I don't know. Or it should have said uh, in fighter. EX skill piercing boost to 28%, so just double it. Um, so, I don't know, man. Uh, it's 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 not bad. This is definitely catering more towards the uh, arms, because if you look over here, we go to the arms. So, the piercing is going to be D. You combine, the, uh, you combine the legs with the head, I mean, you're going to have a really, really strong EX ability with those arms. But once again, I'm still not feeling it. And for the backpack, you are going to have Particle Fa Jin or Fa Yin, uh, Physical Melee, A plus in Piercing, Power is a C, oh my god, that is amazing. Cool down, first time 6 seconds, 60 seconds after, Inject Particles into your foe, destroying them from within, Raise Shot Attack of your squad by 39%. This is a super goddamn good EX skill. Not really going to benefit at all from the uh, the piercing increase because I don't know if there's anything past A+. Plus. Boy, oh boy, but is this an amazing EX skill. So if you do pull this, I would probably recommend you to use it. Um, this is something I would 100% use in replace of my uh, Trans Am Raid. Trans Am Raid is really good, but this has a great power and piercing combination score. And lastly, you are going to have the shield. So, in fighter job, enemy strong uh, melee power reduced 30%. This is really good for in fighters because in fighters don't really have a way to kind of like defend themselves. So, this is a good way to defend themselves by reducing their opponent's melee because they're going to be in. And if their opponent pulls out some shenanigans with some melee power, at least it's going to be reducing a lot of damage to them. So, this is actually extremely beneficial for Barbados because Barbados has uh, a big weakness to physical. Uh, melee and if he gets hit with a physical melee attack I mean he's gonna be screwed and now if it's a beam melee he's gonna be able to resist that pretty well because he has a high beam resistance but uh, for the most part I do think this is actually a really really good shield for end fighters now we take a look at the shining Gundam so we take a look at the head uh, unit first in fighter job I mean once again we're having in fighters all over the place in fighter job projectile speed boosted 15% I don't think it's really that good. Projectile speed is not something that really plays a big factor into these games right now. At least I haven't seen it. So just because you can shoot your shot faster, I don't like it kind of prevents your enemy from being able to dodge effectively. But that's kind of like the only benefit I'm really seeing from this. Otherwise, you're an in fighter. Why do you why are you even worried about your projectile shots? Unless like I guess if you're using like a bazooka or a cannon, but I'm not really worried about the uh, projectiles whatsoever. And next, we have one of the best bodies in the game right now. Super Mode, The Awakening, 51 seconds effect duration. Cooldown, uh, the first time to be uh, 12 seconds, 60 seconds after. Enter Super Mode for Enhanced Combat Prowess. Uh, raises speed by 20%. Raise your melee attack by 29%. And then raise your melee defense by 19%. This is good. This is like, this is basically the Trans Am Raid, but it's... It, I, I like the Trans Am Raid because it does do damage, but I like this a little bit more because it, it, it frees my uh, my actual EX skill attack up for something else. So I can do this, and then I can slap on the Mace's Iron Impact to be enhanced by this ability. So I don't know. I really, really want this uh, body. I don't think I'm going to get it anytime soon, but man, it would be really cool to get this because I would kind of change up my entire formula for my actual mobile suit uh, for the arenas. And next we have is the Shining Gundam Arms. And these arms, oh my god. Look at these. Oh, these stats are so amazing. So it's a beam melee. Fantastic. I, I'm already in love. Piercing is going to be B. Power, my boys, A. This is definitely the best combination of, like, like not stats, but uh, for, like, rankings of piercing and uh, power together. So your cooldown is going to be a first time 79 seconds. Um, well, sorry, the, the cooldowns will be 79 seconds and then first time 8 seconds. Uh, then crush your foes with your love, your anger, and all of your sorrow. Raise melee attack of your squad by 19%. Raise melee defense by your squad 24%. So you're obviously not going to have a major increase in your uh, percentage. 
with um you know in comparison to your awakening but combine your awakening with this oh my god and then combine maybe like the sengoku astray's head uh with this you're borderline gonna have a piercing of a b plus with a power of an a now obviously this is level 10 so it's gonna be a lot lower but even at, at, at a level one, I'm telling you, this is already going to be some of the. This is going to be the best arm in the game, and I'm actually I'm I'm really thinking this is the best EX skill in the game right now. Uh, I'm going to try and pull for this, man. I really, really want these arms because I, I, oh, man, it looks so good. It really looks amazing. So um, this is something you need to pull for, absolutely. And we do have the legs, so the category is going to be B melee, piercing is going to be D, power A minus, 21 seconds, 6 seconds first time, unleash a blindly fast uh, flurry with sabers in each hand. You know, it does have beam sabers, which is cool, kind of, uh, I don't really understand why you didn't get the beam saber with it, but it kind of is what it is. You know, it's, it's a good ability, but man, the arms overshadow this completely. And the last part is going to be the backpack. So in fire job, 20% chance to not recoil. So it's this is actually not bad. I kind of like shit on the whole recoil aspect. But recoiling is like, or the, the chance to prevent recoiling is actually really good for end fighters in particular because if you're going in for those melee attacks, you really don't want to get flinched whatsoever. So honestly, this is a really good backpack uh, for end fighters in particular. So take a look at George's stats. You know, they're really defensive. It's not really too bad. He's going to be an outfighter, and his parts trade is going to be with technique attribute, EX skill to uh, cooldown reduce 20%, word tags, mobile fighter, and long range. He's not really that bad uh, in terms of a technique mobile suit, but I'm not really feeling it, so this is an easy pass for me. Next you're going to have is good old Patrick. So with power attribute self, buff EX skill effect up 15%. I really don't like those abilities, to be honest. Um, take a look at his info. He is going to be a mid-shooter, stats are really bad i mean it's a default three star so of course the stats aren't going to be like fantastic uh but honestly i'm not feeling this whatsoever so patrick it makes sense that his armor is really high because that dude survives everything but honestly the whole ai banner is this probably an easy pass for everyone and the last thing we are going to take a look at is the shop real quick. I'm not going to go over the sword strike because I'm going to be buying these parts pretty soon. Uh, but, I mean, you're getting essentially the same old stuff. So, Awakening Circus is what I'm going to go for first. Uh, but you are going to get some emblems. So, that's actually pretty cool. You get a lot of the stuff from Seed. Not really too familiar with a lot of this, the factions and everything from Seed. I know Zaft, but that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. Um, honestly, like the sword exchange... There's only a couple things I'm really going to be focusing on, which is going to be the Awakening Circuits. Um, other than that, I might get the emblems, but I might be skipping the emblems altogether and then uh, just get the what I need from the Sword Strike. But we are going to be taking a look at the Sword Strike and Analysis video in a day, maybe, maybe a day and a half. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, hey, I would definitely pull on this, uh, this mo mobile suit banner because that Shining Gundam, I'm telling you, that is going to be the top tier mobile suit as in terms of melee at least. So I'm going to keep trying for him because I really do want those arms and the body. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. If you can, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.